Vital funding has been restored to help preserve war graves on the Air Peninsula. It'll allow the RSL to recognise and honour the sacrifice of diggers for years to come. It's the resting place of more than 500 service men and women from the state's west coast. Carefully tended by RSL volunteers since 1930. Every time I come here, it's just a... Uh, it's an honour. But making it look this good costs money. A Veterans SA grant ran out last year, leaving the future of the beloved Remembrance Garden in doubt. One Nation MP, Sarah Game, pushed the state government for more funding. And I'm really glad to be able to relieve the community from the worry uh, that this garden in some way will deteriorate and not be able to be enjoyed by the community. The RSL has been thrown a three-year lifeline worth $75,000. It's very important that as a state government we remember those the sacrifices that people have made over the many, many years to where we are today. It's really important to ensure that we continue to look after this garden so that the younger generations continue to be educated. The money's being used to improve disability access and install a new irrigation system to ensure the garden's survival for years to come. It allows us to plan and uh, maintain and beautify the place in, in a manner that's going to treat all the graves here and the people interred with the respect they deserve. Port Lincoln is one of only four cemeteries in Australia run and managed by the RSL. It's definitely an honour uh, to preserve this, their memory and, and their sacrifice.